It can take a lot of horsepower to harvest timber, or in this case, rented mule power. In the 8,000 acre Berea College forest, Fred and Dan and their drivers are doing it the traditional Appalachian way without heavy machinery. It's very low impact visually and as far as soil disturbance. There's uh, just a little a little scuff mark along the, the forest floor where the, the log was dragged out and then some uh, mule tracks. It's important that this wood is harvested sustainably because to reduce Berea College's carbon footprint, how materials are obtained and used is as important as the materials themselves. In a few months, this wood will find new life as construction timbers and furniture in the college's soon-to-be-built 42,000 square foot deep green residence hall, a building college officials expect to be the most energy efficient residence hall in Kentucky, if not the country. We're going to be building actually 267 pieces. We'll be building 120 desks, 120 small three drawer chests, and then there are a number of specialty tables, and those are of particular interest for us because we're using the wood that came from the site where the residence hall is being built. When students begin moving into the Deep Green Residence Hall in the fall of 2013, they'll notice many energy saving features. And while none of these features alone are necessarily leading edge technologies, it's the integration of proven energy saving methods on a large scale that will make this residence hall Deep Green. We firmly believe this will be a centerpiece for Berea College's continued commitment to building renovations, uh, new construction that are deep green, and to provide opportunities for our students to live in an environment where they learn about sustainability, where they experience uh, simple living but, but rich learning environments. And Fred and Dan have done their parts too in helping Berea College reach its goal to eliminate greenhouse gases from campus operations and reduce its carbon footprint. In Madison County, this is Jay Buckner reporting.